can see here the Sentinels hitting up that <laughs> really oh! fast push there. Nice classic burst from Nitro to defend against Sinatra. Sinatra did create space for his team, though. They lost that one player. But my god, these pistols are doing some serious damage, Riff. This is huge already. They've dropped armor. They've dropped not weapons, but at least those first buys coming in. A good bonus round, I should say, for Sentinels as they haven't lost too much. Spike is down, so they get the extra credits here, but 100 Thieves doing a very nice job of making a case that this round should be theirs, that they can go back and forth right off the bat. There is that Stinger purchased up by Asuna. Steel trying to work it. And will he have the IQ to make this one happen? Continues the fakes, 41 HP. It's gonna make it tough, and Zoms ducks right under the classic of Steel, and that's gonna be it. The second round for and right, and Asuna, on the other hand, was hitting the crazy shots. Even Hiko said it, so looking for that consistency from him as well. Hopefully, they can find it. And the thing that almost answered for me for 100 Thieves yesterday, we'll have to see if it can still happen, is is there a connection between the older players and the younger players when it gets tight, when there's intense moments? And they've so far shown in the last series that they can be there. Zoms opens up this one. Sinatra will answer with another one. Is Sentinels gain quite a bit of ground before they even start seeing 100 Thieves. What that means, Sentinels is already on site. Now it's up to Dicey on the back with the A to, or with the op, sorry. And now one bullet left. Looks like he's not going to be able to get that reload down as Shazam takes him out. Nitro fires and DDK. The first gun round goes to Sentinels as they continue to patience for 100 Thieves here as they try to go for the retake. And quite a bit of utility is out to find 100 Thieves if they try. Ooh. Nice catch by Asana through the smoke there. The recon dot allowing them extra vision. And this isn't looking too bad on the retake right now. Sentinels force all the way back to the yellow container and Shazam tries to not allow them to take too much more space. The cloud burst will be helpful with that operator as well in hand. He is a dangerous presence, but Asuna, he wipes the floor with them. Sentinels get totally wiped with some mid dark covers as well to, oh, well, I've got to hold that thought. Nitro is able to pick off yeah. Sinatra. I wonder if that would change the plan here for it the might. Sentinels lineup. DDK, that's one of two ops right now. Dicey also has one. We have seen this earlier in a few of the series come in in first strike, but usually the double op is not something you see due to the economy change. Nitro looking for the flicks, knows there's one behind containers. Nitro with a 3K op round and the rest of the team coming up on fire. We'll see what that's going to be able to accomplish. They're trying to play this slow and steady to make sure they don't get picked as they push forwards, but they didn't account for Nitro. He found a oh. tiny crevice to stand in. Safe from the lockdown, Mad man. and Steel holds it down with the help of him. Fire in the hole. Standing out in the open, why would you expect it? Blast in, so now just going to find one in hell of the tub. And it looks like they'll have pretty good control over the site now, DDK. Uh, Nitro always pull little tricky things like that, whether he's on the box at Sea Haven Long or right in your face during a lockdown. Dicey drops the Nitro as the operator starts going to work and coming online again for 100 Thieves. And now Shazam! Gonna have a lot of work cut out for him there, but Dicey gets another one on the round, and now it is five. Now it's back to B. Sky Flash into A to prevent any forward pushes there, whilst the rest of the team goes close here, as Ooh. does Nitro behind the dark cover. Oh no, that is horrible for Sentinels. A stray bullet through the smoke lands a second headshot for Nitro, which will prove quite difficult now for Sentinels. However, 100 Thieves, they make it even worse. And now it's a question of how much ground do they have? Is it enough to get onto a site? Well, it doesn't look like that's the case. Great positioning here from 100 Thieves to really prevent much, but let's say Shazam will find an angle. Maybe there's some space after all. Some great comms in mid there from Dicey, I believe, to Hiko that Zoms had teleported up into Kitchen, so they were really able to get a flank that could have been a huge impact from Sentinels this round. 100 Thieves covering all their bases right now, and that's going to be another shot from Dicey's. He's got himself. He go down at Snowman. And Sick doing what he can. 2v1 situation here. Final round of the first half, and 100 Thieves will make... Going pretty heavy towards this A hits. DDK, three members of Sentinels bought down to zero. This will be their third round loss. If they all go down, that's 2,900 they get next round, but this round is imperative for them to stop the bleeding of what happened here in the beginning. 100 Thieves feeling great. Zomps does stop that. Asuna goes down in the back of the site, and now they're trying to get up top. Great plant towards the top side, covered by smoke. The fight in between two, and Nitro finds the kill before he drops to the hands of Zomps 3K. Hiko in the one versus two. 
He's done this so many times in CS in his career. Oh, he's just been spotted. They're thinking he's going around the corner, though. He might be able to isolate one of these two players. That's how you get this done, but it's Dapper to find the shot instead. I wonder if these can do here, but it's all on steel. He has to hold on to this forward position. He has to win these fights. Otherwise, this will not work out. He loves this. One of the more aggressive ciphers you will see, and he gets the flick shots. More than not hitting Shazam there right off the hip. Zom's answers back. Finally, Steel didn't have enough HP to make it happen. And now Sinatra and Zom's on the retake. Spike is planted, acting as almost a third member that 100 Thieves get to work with here, and they get to work around that member. Great timing there for Nitro to defend against Sinatra, but it's up to Zoms playing around the dark cover, looking to isolate the 1v1s. There's one of them tapping the bomb, putting the pressure on. Can he find the next shot? He's looking for it. It's Hiko to get it done in the 1v1. Great stuff there from him as 100 Thieves. They go because they don't actually have a flank. They have to worry yeah. about the reset into a rotation to the other side. So right now, this is just sort of a stalemate as far as the defenders or Sentinels are concerned. They're just sitting, holding their ground, waiting for 100 Thieves to make a move. And there's that move. Nitro gets the better of Zoms. Left. And now they trigger the push onto A. It becomes such a touch and go of who's going to hit the shot. Nitro and Steel take down two more. Shazam and Sick now on the rotations. And Shazam isn't close just yet. So 100 Thieves will get a little time here to buy some space to set up a garrison on A. Great entry from Sick, though, to take down Steel. That's huge. Looking to see what else he can get here as his spike ticks away. Nitro is now looking to see if he can find Sick, knowing he's lurking around there somewhere. They've got good positions to play from, good angles to play off of one another. But that cloud burst, that puts the pressure on. You can see it forces Nitro forwards. There's that recon dart, though. They can't see through the cloud burst. They know the jet must be in there. Nitro goes close with the classic, finds it, prevents the defuse, and a hundred thieves. Being answer for anything. I think mm -hmm. I can't really fault what, you know, either team for what they're doing. And we'll get a bit of information sought after by Sky. Sick there with that dog, sending it all the way through. And I think it was mostly avoided here, so they may not realize quite how close 100 Thieves are. They certainly realize now, though, because 100 Thieves start piling into the site, making all the noise, looking for that spike plant. They'll be able to manage to get that Asana. Picks that one up. A Ghost and a Sheriff, though. That's Ooh. all they have to work with. But there's a Vandal collected by Asana. We know how dangerous he is with this. Just duking around that box. Dapper trying to use the Nano Swarm to get him from that position. And he's going to make it work out. It's now down to Hika once again. He's got the Hunter's Fury. He's got some info off the Recon Dart. And he's going to creep around the site. If he can find the 1v1s here, he might be able to make this work. They know they just have a sense of it where he's at. And Shazam nails it with the Classic. Oh, such an important round by Sentinels. I think it's the last round. We'll have to see if it can go better, though. 100 Thieves can get the spike down. That's Hunter's Fury, but they use it to open up the site, and it's going to work as Asuna pulls down Sick as well at the beginning of this one. He has had so many good rounds. That is a big impact frag to have as Nitro answers again. We may be going into overtime. DDK, Shazam, and Dapper have to try their hardest here to make this one count. There's a very late lurk that's possible as well in this mid position from Steel. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Shazam will take him down. And they are making this quite desperate here for set uh, for 100. Oh my god, what is happening here with these knives? Shazam's really coming online indeed. <laughs> Converts quite nicely on the retake for them. And speaking of which, in fact, they haven't even lost the sight just yet. Asuna finally gets taken down, but he doesn't do so without doing damage first. Look at the Recon flank. dart, so important. All the way around, Steel says no. I was He was at the back door to enter in at Belt, and he still comes around to help the team. Is that going to be what counts? Power in numbers for 100 Thieves as they retake the site here. Dapper's got pretty good health, takes down Dicey. He was low. Nitro also low as he goes. Going to be the check, and he goes down. It's going to be the 1v1. Will he be able to clutch it? Nitro finds the 3K on the round with low HP, and that was big for 100 Thieves. It's so hard to predict Rave Hound for him. Asuna, us doing what he does best, finding kills in pivotal moments and making the opponent wish they had not peaked. Once again, he does it, looking for a 3K, dismisses to the back of the site and will try to take another 1v1. That's been six spot, though. It's his playground as Dicey gets the trade with two more. Dapper again, the last one alive. Lone Man standing, and he falls to steal as 100 Thieves will take back. So I like the aggressive dark cover at the end of a lobby there. That's really important because that does create issues if 
the Sentinel side, this, or rather 100 Thieves decided to go for pressure towards A. They have to flash through that. They have to use something to make it safe or wait it yep. out. They decided to wait it out. And of course, you know, they lost Asana early on towards that C orb. Yep. And that's something that you're going to probably see both of these teams trying to work for in the slower rounds when they're playing this attack. Try to work that A lobby pressure, try to work that C orb and keep, you know, try to understand exactly what the setup is for the other team before you commit into your play. And we can see here, as, as things reset a little bit, pressure towards A. 100 Thieves don't have much info at this point, and, or rather, sorry, Sentinels on defense don't have mm -hmm. much info. They're playing very far back, and 100 Thieves gather up for that C hit. And one of the, the thing I like to point out is a dicey spot. Obviously, he's pushing through, but being that far down as he gets taken out, being that far down gives you a good idea of footsteps as well on the defensive side of the map. So playing a little default there, but couldn't get the late flank on. A lot of the teams have not been rotating early here in the later stages of first strike. They want to be sure that spike gets planted. Now we see the rotation over. And with just a few members, Sentinels was able to hold this strong against 100 Thieves. That's the round Sentinels was looking for. The full saves allow him. Definitely know what's going on. All the ultimates coming through to run it back will get taken down. Still holding on to that short position. This is not looking too... Oh no! Sentinels caught out with the pistol in hand. However, Sick able to answer back with that Phoenix. Out goes the curveball. I think it was consumed by that dark hover though. Using the wall, trying to prevent his opponents from gaining space onto the site. Give his team a way in, but unfortunately for him, Nitro has the lineup through the smoke and it's starting to look very difficult for Sentinels to get back in, especially now that Dicey is able to lay down the fire, the shock dart to finish it off from Hiko. On the map, seen to the right, and that's going to be a trade from Shazam in lower sewers is sick. Gets a nice oh, shot yeah, onto fight. Nitro. That was the 1v1 they needed in B. We're going to see a bit of a switch up here. Hiko and the rest down in sewers. What can they do? Great recovery so far from Sentinels, and just, yeah. you got to give it to him, holding down that short position. Nice shot on the defense of the site, ready for the trade is sick, and Sentinels will... So you want to keep that up, but he's going to go ahead and fire it down C! Does he gets the shot necessary, and Asuna once again on the forefront of the squad, and he's going to find the opening kill of the game as Hiko answers back with his own, Hunter's Fury. Great cover though from Dicey, with that operator from C Long, allows the spike to be planted. Forward, slightly forward position for Zoms. This is going to have to be everything here for his team. Shazam will be following him, but Zoms has to be able to find a way to cut off vision and to clear the space and get the frags. But here comes the lurk. I don't think they can. They don't have the ability to worry about the lurk as well as everything else. It's just too much to handle. Shazam with a whiff, but it wouldn't have really mattered. The trade was ready to go, and that's going to be. Yeah, we've got a really fast play there, straight into the B side. Often a favorite when you have a buy like this. The Stinger, once again, Asuna's so good at getting those opening kills, but there's the follow-up from Dicey. Pulls out the Blade Storm. Suzanne picks him out of the air with the Operator and Sick again. I mean, whatever Asuna shows, we have an answer from Sick that's equally as savage and dangerous. As Hiko tries to hold with the, the Shock Darts there and Nitro creeping in on the flank. He's so good at this. He would get one, but the trade is through, and now it's all on Hiko's shoulders. But it's just not enough left in the tank for that as Shazam finishes him off. And this was a particularly great. They expect him to be short, and he's just playing inside their heads right now. So Shazam doing a great job. Has the Blade Storm as well if the Operator does not come up big in these next few rounds for the side of Sentinels. So they're looking great. 100 Thieves, as you said, on that save here. And. You called it DDK. The fact that they went B last time, they found no one defending meant they could walk in, but Shazam changes that on this round. Oh, there could be a punish here. Indeed. Dicey picks up the punish, and it's, that's the guy that you want to collect the operator. That might actually allow a chance here. Nice shot off for Sinatra to finish one off. Steel, they're dying in the C Long Cubby. And the rotation comes through now for 100 Thieves. They can play off of Dicey having that forward position with the operator. And again, very scary actually for the Sentinel side. They have to coordinate this one. They can't left. know exactly which angles Dicey is going for. He could also be on an elevated angle too. And Sinatra is just a wide swing him with that Odin, almost looking like a comical uh, peak there. And Dicey now switches his attention towards A Link. He's doing it all right now. Oh, and he hits the shot too. Soms his shoulder ripped off there. The 3K for the operator. He goes, gonna find the side of Sick here, and it's just a roundabout now for Dapper as he goes back and forth in this cat and mouse with so many members. A thrifty 
for 100 Thieves as they come out big in round 11. Speaking of which, we get an instant Hunter's Fury there. Big A lobby push coming through behind that. That's a Sentinel special. And we're going to see that the attack is ready, though, on the C site for 100 Thieves. So this might actually not be too bad. But that said, the frags are coming here. The knives are coming for everybody from Shazam. He's still alive and doing that damage, pulling out the operator, the pistol. It doesn't matter. Shazam has your number. Super Speaking of numbers, as Asana, <laughs> yeah. he's got all of that, the damage. And he's in the 1v2. Riv, he's got a lot of time for this. And it's going to be hard to predict exactly where he's going to be. Almost crossing the eyesight there. Oh, sick. It's going to be a curveball around the corner. He oh, just got out of the way. That box is deadly to stand behind. Easily spammable, and he makes sure to get out of that position. He needs to find the other one. He was hoping to see at least two faces there for a moment. 45 seconds on this, so he's got a bit of time to heal himself up. And the utility to make it happen. I think now he knows where both of them are. That actually helps him out greatly. Wow, Asuna could really start to play this one slow. He knows he's going to have to probably get a transfer fire left. down now on this shot, DDK. That could have been some very big information for him. But an Odin, uh, this could be tough. He could get cut in half right here, and it's going to be sick. That takes him down straight into the site. Shazam says plant in the smoke. Everybody is now defending from window, and this becomes tough if you don't have control of that. And we'll see if 100 Thieves can take it back. Sentinels have their work cut out. Just going to be classics here. And I think they wanted the money. We continuously see if they lose first round, super save, all classics all around. So they can get a lot of bank on the next one. Let's see this retake and what they can take away from 100 Thieves. Shocked out that to That's good. defend the spike. That's going to create some problems. He could able to defend. And this is getting a little bit awkward. The Paranoia gets sent through as well. They're quite exposed. They have to go beyond the smoke into the choke point. The weapons <gasps> are doing the damage, but he's worried. Now, there's the dash forward for the plants. Niger is going to easily drop down and prevent that from happening. Just wants to delay. He knows he's going to die in that position, but it might have been a... We'll have to see how it actually ends up uh, favoring either team. Six able to trade. He's picked up a Phantom. We know how dangerous he is. He's got the curveballs ready to go as well. And Sentinels are at a man advantage at this point. They started off with worse weaponry, but now it's looking really good for them. Oh, just misses that shot. Almost able to take down Sinatra. Asuna's going to be able to take out Sick. And it's just a scatter right now. I love this. A little bit of around the world here coming in from Sentinels. They go straight to B, then all the way through to C as Dicey finds Sinatra. A few too many peaks before they get themselves in contact positions. And this could look dangerous. Dapper is just kind of hanging out. They know it's going to be tough. But all the kills from Zoms! Could it be another one? The curveball hits him right in the eyes. And it is going to be enough. Beautifully done. Still keeps himself alive, but the Hunter's Fury from Sinatra, the follow-up, is doing oh. massive damage across the map. It's a four versus five retake here for 100 Thieves. This is going to be a tough one. 100 Thieves is trying to push to get the info. It just seems like Sentinels keeps working these sites too fast, taking out a few too many members. That leaves it up to Asuna. Can he make it happen? They'll run it back, or that, uh, yeah, run it back going through. And now it's going to be the 4v4 DDK. Smoke start coming out. The chaos to be played. Everybody starts spamming it up, praying and spraying. Nitro comes up with two there as they're going to fire back through. The defuser starts to come down. The defuser is killed. And that will be all she wrote as the game is once. Wow, the dash clock again. <laughs> this is crazy. A full buy round. You don't expect to see this. These are some of my favorite rounds, DDK, because it leaves so much utility in everyone's hands to retake the site, and it's chaos. Nitro all the way back to spawn. He's going to be able to help, but he has Dapper on his heels. He doesn't know it. Oh, the Sneaky gets the Sneaky there, and the Dapper's going to be able to take down two, get uplink as well. The rest of Sentinels is just hitting their mark right now, DDK. And what a way to take apart 100 Thieves' strategy to get behind Sentinels. They were ready for it. Oh, absolutely. This is this is the crazy round. Everyone, as you said, hitting their shots. The fact that there's a flank for Nitro's flank, some of the late flank timings that Nitro has had that we saw against T1, that actually tells tells you a lot that Sentinels are really ready for this one. And I, I can't emphasize enough, Riv. You don't expect on a full gun round that typically Dicey would have been able to make, maybe make a play against with that elevated position. It's the first time we've seen him there too. And Sentinels, you know, this is the, the danger of this smoke. 
you can get really close to the site and with the run it back, Sick is looking to do some damage. They can't escape him. You have to fight and that's what they'll do. Dapper with the trade onto Steel though. And that's gonna be another spike plant here on this C site for Sentinels. They want to make a statement here. This is their game point round to bring it to map three. Spike planted. I love it, DDK. They have been bringing it on both sides, and it is going to be shots from Zom. They drop a few more. Dicey, Nitro, and Hiko all left up to keep the game alive, and it's just going to be Hiko now versus five. It looks impossible. It is going to be impossible as Sinatra hits his 3K to bring us to map three. And Sentinels will kick things off with you know, the typical who could take with the boom bot. They'll be moving up a shorts, just keeping tabs on everything. And it's going pretty well so far. Yeah, there's a bit of spot uh, in mid there. Nitro was able to see him. And I think once they saw Nitro, they said, well, Jig is up. Let's just start pushing forward. And they've been able to take down three members, 100 Thieves. Dicey makes it a little tougher, though. 25 HP, and he still gets the classic to work. And Hiko may be able to grab this ghost in time. Zombs is going to be able to take him out, though, and add some extra. Everybody's up as they throw Util out. Here come the curveballs, and it's going to be Sentinels coming straight out of Hookah, trying to smoke 100 Thieves, and it is going to be Dicey going down first. It's tough for him. Steel hiding from that run it back, and it was Sinatra being able to get run it back to start this off for Sentinels. Steel in so much trouble here, switching for the Classic. He goes oh all over word. though. He goes all over everybody at this point. Just Dapper left alive here for Sentinels. He's going to be able to take down Hiko. Finding the 1v1. He's got a lot of time pressure to plant this spike. Goes for it straight away. He knows that the TP's coming and he has no idea exactly where his opponent is. Nitro could be anywhere here. And he'll drop down into the container. And Dapper is just too much. That is such a sick setup. They know that Dicey's going to be making plays like this. But for the whole that thought because we get that rocket coming out to... Just get set all the way deep into spawn, it seems to be the case at least. Just barely misses. I think it clipped the wall. Very fortunate yeah. for Steel. That'll keep him alive. And that's created all the space on the side. Steel oh. going through with the Guardian. Drop sick. I don't think there was, he was expecting that in a million years. Oh. Steel just keeps doing damage, keeps tagging him up. Oh, Steel again what? with that Guardian making it look good. <laughs> I don't believe it. Gross. DDK, that was gross. The headshot on Shazam. And the uh, reset into this A push comes through. Seal, nice tag there. Over the top, he's got some cages to help out Nitro. A little one way for Nitro, that's quite cute. Fire some frags into the site now. There goes the rocket. Beautiful from 100 Ooh. Thieves. Asana, he is oh, laying down made. death from above. The aerial acrobatics from Asana yeah. is providing quite the display. However, Sinatra is still alive. But two players to worry about. And Great. they should know exactly where he is. And it's not going to actually matter, it seems. Sinatra really making it look dangerous. I was going to say, DDK has such a great tra intervals. So you can expect a few of those to happen. And at one minute, Asuna takes a shot, and they start to go across the map here, or at least across A, I should say. We have a fight. The rotation now coming in from Dicey and Hiko. Shock Quick shock dart up, hoping he can hit some of those third lineups, and it looks like this will be another round. Uh-oh! Wow. wow. <laughs> another exactly. round for Sentinels, but that'll still happen. That will happen. Oh, get he double shock darted. <laughs> that's that's not going to feel good. That's it. Relatable. Well, he's got these, these blades on out here. This is definitely a dangerous round still. Hiko's going to get the tag too, so that's going to allow them to know exactly where one player is. And they'll have a good bet that there's at least another short. Showers is really an unknown. You'd expect there could be one there. The low curveball. Oh, oh, no. Hiko takes him down. Now there are some serious problems. He's got a recon as well if needed. Oh, Dicey is able to take down Shazam with the daggers. Oh, great shot there from Dapper. Picks him out of the sky. There's one more to go. Tries to play the time, and he is successful. Dapper, well played under the... Done by Sick there in... Oh, hang on. We've got a, a steal actually just for, in a forward wow. position. I don't think Dapper expected him to just be hanging out there so late after they had taken it. But that play from Steel could make all the difference because now they... Under these, no, it's precisely what's going on. The rotation will be coming through as well in good time, and Nitro will try to hold things down, but it looks like the shots are really going the way of Sentinels. They'll get the spike planted, and they'll be able to defend this spike four versus three. Asuna finding one as he does through some smokes, and there's another one. Throws out the Roomba for distraction, finds his kill, as now Zoms and Shazam doing what they can here against Dicey and Hiko. Wow. Two quick kills. Dicey with the operator. Hiko again. It was not for that. He wouldn't have been able to have uh, the ability to do that. Dicey finally gets something after these 
Yeah, these quick aggressions outside Huka. He's in trouble though. He has to get another frag, but he can't. Sinatra takes down both players. Four versus three for Sentinels. They could reset out of this, or they could keep it rolling in. They're going to keep it rolling in, it might look like, and Hiko's going to take full advantage. That's a huge frag. Dicey bumped into Asuna, so Asuna stayed to hold cover, got taken out unsuspectedly, and then it happened to Dicey too. A little fumble ruski and Hookah there, and Sentinels are really taking advantage of this one and those opening kills they were able to get. Here, Nitro comes back. We've seen him do this before. The cover HP is within range. Will they fake him? Will they not? They know he's shifting out into the smoke, but it's just enough room. Does he have what it takes? He gets down baby. Dapper. It's the 1v1. Will he have it? Oh my god, he gets to Zam and a gun switch! The Red Bull clutch for Nitro! I cannot... Dapper here, let's see what they can work towards mid. Zoms, he's so good at taking down more than one, and that's gonna possibly be three! Dicey stops him with a frenzy. He gets a reload on this ghost. Revealing area. I got the spike. And now it's gonna be pretty tough here for... Under these, because the rotation's coming through, they might just be able to get this spike planted, but a lot of info here. Eco forced out to take that recon dot out of the picture, and that's going to allow Dicey back. Dicey's in the open, though. He tries to take the fight against Shazam, which Shazam is going to love. Eco at least trades it, but he's down to 20 HP, and Sick will finish him off. And there's a defuse for They can get that Econ going. The 100 Thieves, they will come running at you with those buys. Nice darts from Dicey, or Daggers, rather. And Steel's going to be able to drop him with the Bulldog. Dapper answers back with two. Beautiful at getting to the site first and making sure the opposing team rethinks their strategy. Dapper with three. Can he make it happen versus Steel? Cypher versus Cypher. Oh, that's that sucks. And that sucks even more. <laughs> <laughs> 20 HP for Steel, and he's, I mean, the players he's playing against are also weak, and that's some info. He now sees that one's gone across towards Elbow. Mm. He doesn't have spike control, so they can just, they've set up this crossfire, so at the point at which one player is, is invisible he's to Steel, the other one also, but that cage, that's the wrench in the works. That's gonna destroy that setup. The timing of that was beautiful. Dapper going all the way for the wrap here. If his teammates can continue to slow this down with the dark cover there, Dapper should have the timing. Oh, oh they both line up for him. That Stinger not quite doing the job just yet. He's got the classic out. Oh, he actually whiffs the shot. This leaves it all down to Zoms. Now, both players are fairly weak, Hiko in particular, but Zoms only has this Bulldog. He's got to pick his moment very, very well. It would appeal away one player, finds Hiko. And the left. fake TP. We'll see if that throws off his opponent. Nitro. I don't know if he was thrown off. Steel trying to win the 1v1 here. And oh, the ult pops. And that's going to be good enough. Now, Sig, he has to hold on. That is definitely a good hold so far from Sig. Drops the boom ball. Goes for another one. There's the Hunter's Fury. Dicey able to dash out, but he dashes into Sinatra. And it's looking pretty grim here for 100 Thieves. Hiko does have the spike, but how does he get it planted? That... This, I think, round tells the way that the entire series has been going. You think it's one way. The flank looks beautiful, but the opposing team is able to react. It's so impressive right now from both sides. 100 Thieves and Sentinels here. Sentinels able to recover after finding Steel all the way in U-Haul. Shots from Sinatra! And he's going to be able to dodge the Hunter's Fury. Hiko now all alone. He's able to take Dapper down, but Sinatra finds it as they, again, leave nothing to... See what they find. Quick tag. It's going to deter things for a little bit as Shazam sees a few. Oh, right at the last moment of the fuse. Asuna keeps himself healthy. Pushes forward. The nade's going to make him think they have a few extra seconds. It's a trade there as he takes down two. And now a 3v2 is in front of 100 Thieves here to get to their 12th round. Dapper actually has his ult here, if he can get to it. He's going to drop the cage. That Oh, they have no idea that Hiko's here, do they? But, oh, Soms is going to go down. Hiko defends. They needed to kill Hiko. They had to find a way, but this guy is going to stay alive. And that's match point now for 100 Thieves. One more. This was a sight, which I like to see. Two players in Hiko there. Raze and Sova, the drone through. Though, and the boom bot. This is very, very aggressive. Oh, the angle there is beautiful from Asna. Chops off Soms' head, oh. pushes further forward into U-Haul. They're taking all the ground. A, a round of shock and awe, DDK. 100 Thieves have not deployed any of these strats just yet. We've seen it slow, methodical. The darts coming out, the utility. But now it could be a possibility with the spike planted. And Sentinels trying to regain composure in the sight. It's going to be 100 Thieves taking the series and meeting TSM in the first strike grand finals.